Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Welcome back to the Cosmic Royal family. How are you guys doing? Hope that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, welcome back. All right. <clears throat> So, um, I've already um, pre-shuffled with you guys. I've already prayed and everything. Look, 11 views in here and one like. So, one, one, one. So, I figured this is going to be like a really um, good or really interesting, interesting reading. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> How are you guys doing? Hey. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Gerald. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Lee. Hey, Miss Music. Rasta, the Emperor. Hello. Hey, Nikki. Hey, you guys. Oh, I love you to the moon and back to your so sweet. Oh my god. Excuse my nails, they're busted, but I be I ain't had time. I'm gonna get up there. But I they definitely they real busted. I ain't lying. Okay. <clears throat> so excuse me, I know I'm looking bummy, but I've been I've been tending to house business. So y'all y'all get to see me and my bumminess. We friends. All right, hot wait. We're friends. <laughs> so it don't even matter for real. Let me plug this up. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you guys, we have manipulation, confusion, <clears throat> manipulation, confusion, paranormal, <clears throat> throat> come on, throat, don't start this, and um, con man, all right, oh, see, you're gonna get me, <laughs> you're gonna have me crying, I'm gonna try not to read the comment section, all right, <clears throat> you have this same shirt? Girl, I think I bought this shirt twice. Yeah, I love novelty tees. I, I will literally, my, my whole wardrobe will consist of a good novelty tee. For real. All right, all right. Let me get back into it. <clears throat> okay, so this is general. Take what resonate, leave what don't. Okay. But um, in somebody's situation, you was dealing with a con man. There's a con man in somebody's energy, all right? <clears throat> this person was such a con man to the point where they caused a lot of confusion. They confused you. You never really knew what what you where you stood with this person. You didn't know what this person was up to. Um you never knew where you stood with this person here, but that's because they were they were a con man, okay? But, you know, like I said, this person confused you. They played a lot of mind games, um, mental manipulation. Whoever this con man is, who um, I heard, and I would have got away with it, too, if it wasn't for um, what they say, them pesky kids. Well, y'all remember Scooby-Doo? I, I would have got away with it, too. Somebody's not getting away with something. And the reason why they're not getting away with something is because of, like, some type of um, spiritual interference with paranormal being here. There's a there's a lot of paranormal activity going on around a con man energy. <clears throat> I don't know if this person can't sleep. They're hearing noises or there's just like a series of unfortunate events, things that keep falling out, falling apart in this person's life. They're not they don't know where this is coming from. And they, they really feel like this ain't no coincidence. They can't put their finger on. um what's going on they're they're very confused right now this person is just going through too much at one time back to back there's too many unexplained things 
and this con man cannot put their hand on what is going on in their life. Why they keep having these mix-ups or these mishaps? All right. So you, your spirit team with paranormal and manipulation, your spirit team is manipulating the situation behind the scenes here. They're manipulating something um, with this person behind the scenes. I want to know, like, why. Well, I already know why, kind of, but, you know. <clears throat> Tell me more about this story here. They're pulling the strings. They're doing something. Um, here it is. Confession. To get this con man to come confess to something this person they're going to force this person to confess to you it's something they was they were supposed to tell you a while ago a year ago two years ago three four five years ago somebody been sitting on a confession for a long time this con man been sitting on this confession for a couple years but the spirit realm is working together to manipulate the situation to get this con man to confess something somebody's going to get a confession <clears throat> Also, if, if any of you guys are going through um, like a legal situation and um, somebody is lying or you need them to confess, like if like somebody could be holding back some type of truth because they want you to go down for something or they don't want to get in trouble for something. Spirit is going to manipulate the situation here. I heard court documents or something. I don't know. Spirit is going to manipulate something to get the con man to confess and, and you're going to end up winning the case. All right. <clears throat> there it is. Yep, all that will be revealed. All that's hidden will be revealed. That's just what I felt. They finna make this con man reveal something to you. Absolutely. Yeah, this is this crazy person. They thought they could hide. They could continue to hide this forever. They thought that whatever this is they kept from you collective, that they could hide this forever. All that is hidden will be revealed. Amen. Amen. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Dang. So y'all have y'all spiritual dream team behind the scenes pulling strings. They're doing things to this person behind the scenes or they're setting up certain things so that this person will reach their breaking point and they'll confess something to you. That's what this is. Mm. <clears throat> spiritual gifts is in reverse. So this person could have lost their spiritual gifts or they don't like the fact that you have spiritual gifts. Like this person really could just hate the fact that you operate solely out of, out of spirit or you, 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 um, you depend on your spiritual guidance for like somebody don't like that about you. If this person had any type of spiritual gifts, they're losing their spiritual gifts. Maybe they didn't use their spiritual gifts for the right reasons. <clears throat> Somebody didn't use their spiritual gifts for the right reasons, collective. Yeah, they was toxic. Somebody was very toxic. So they lost all their little spiritual gifts because they was being manip manipulate manipulative. They were being manipulative. <sighs> yeah. You guys are going through some type of transformation. They're, they're, they're watching you go through a transformation here. Also, I'm getting that, you know, um, their spirit guides have been trying to um, get them to transform. But this is a very stubborn person. So they were supposed to have underwent, undergone some type of transformation. Yeah, they didn't want to transform. They This person did not want to listen. I feel like this person's path was illuminated to them or something like that. They didn't, they didn't want to. They was hard headed. They was hard headed. Trying to avoid some type of an awakening or didn't. This person don't even feel like it's anything wrong with them for real. <clears throat> they don't see no wrong in what they do. Therefore, they don't want to hear. They didn't want to hear what you had to say collective. And they did not want to hear what their ancestors or their spirit guides had to say. This person didn't even want to hear God out for real. Like most high was trying to talk to this person. And this person is just stubborn. They, they just, they don't know it all. They think they know everything, right? So right now, y'all, this your person is stuck up the creek without a paddle. Whoever this is, they're stuck up the creek without a paddle. It says stuck in a difficult situation with no way of getting out of it. Listen, when I tell you those waves is about to eat that little canoe up because this person didn't listen. Spirit could have told them, hey, don't you take, don't, don't get in that little, don't get in that little old boat. You going to sink. You, you ain't going to be able to make it across. Okay. And this person like, I, what you talking about? I know what I'm doing. 
I'm a, I'm a vet. I've been doing this forever, right? He put this little flimsy life, life jacket on and he think that, you know, I got it. He thought he had it, right? So Spirit was like, okay, have it. <sighs> Divinely stomped out. <clears throat> Whoever this is, this, this person is not being allowed to collect hearts anymore. This is someone, this is Mr. Love them and Leave them or miss love them and leave them type energy. This person kind of was collecting people's emotions here. <clears throat> so they had many different connections in many different places. They would just pretty much break people's heart and move on or something like that. Or they just, they had many different connections and they held on to all these emotions. This person was like a, um, they hoarded. This is a hoarder. They hoarded emotions and people. This is a people hoarder. So they never let go of people from their past. <clears throat> they would hold on to this. Yeah. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This person is getting divinely stomped out, though. God is not playing with this person at all. All right? Most High is definitely finna to uh, put this little person's, whatever their little plan was, whatever this little con man's plan was, is about to be put, put out. Yeah. Yeah. This person could have tried to maybe use you for money with money hungry. And you guys were guided to lock your heart down from this person because you felt like they were a user. They could have got money from you. They could get money from other people. This person just like they owe a lot of people. <clears throat> this is the type of energy that ruin everybody that they come across. If you get in a relationship with this person, you start losing money. Money starts slipping off your sleeve, right? Yeah, this type of energy will ruin you. They like to, they get with people for their resources, what, what you could do for them. This is also the type of person here who don't give love. Like they're all, it's, they're, it's always about what they can get from the situation with money hungry, but it's never about what can they give with love locked down. This person never gives, they only take. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> yeah. Now they want to make peace with you. They're going to reach out to you, trying to make some type of peace with you, trying to, um, they want to meet you on even grounds or something like that. They're ready to wave the white flag, surrender, call truce. Like they really want to like negotiate something. They want to reconcile with you. <clears throat> yeah, this person is like, they're tired of bumping heads. They're tired of conf the conflict between you and them. The resistance or maybe you're resisting this person. You don't want to deal with them no more. This person is, they're, they're very determined. This person is going to be very, very determined. Like they're going to want to, because they're, this person is left out in the cold. They're tired of being left out in the cold by you guys. Like not being in your energy. <clears throat> they feel like a sense of security in your energy collective. Yeah, you, you were very loving to this person you're very compassionate they feel like they could be vulnerable with you and it's and it's crazy because this was a con man the con man felt like they could be vulnerable with you yeah tell me more holy spirit <clears throat> yeah look at this yep bob the builder yep this person something's brewing whoever this energy is they they feel like they want to try to fix the situation that's what's brewing that's what they're working on behind the scenes yeah, and on top of that, because your team is putting them in a position where they have no choice but to sit down and talk to you. Yeah, look at this union. They may try to talk to you about reconciling, how they miss you, how this was true love. Yeah, saying that they've had some type of an awakening here. That's because they're trying to stop you from cutting the cord. <clears throat> yeah, they don't want you to release them. They don't want you to release them. You set boundaries with this person too. You detached. This person is trying to stop you from cutting the cord. Maybe you're the one who's also, you went through your own spiritual awakening here. See, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. This rat energy. This is my only problem. This person was like very... Nasty. They had very nasty ways in the past. Okay, y'all know rats are opportunists as well. So this person was in this energy here. See, that's the thing. Look at this. 
It says, your cup will run over. Bless his Psalms 23, 5 and 6. See, I'm, I'm, it's about your blessings here. This person is a freaking opportunist. They're opportunists because they see your cup is running over or they intuitively know what's coming in for you guys. Yeah. Just as I'm saying that this part, this is like an opportunistic energy. That's what it is. It's con man. This person is still, this is con man energy all day long collective. This is con man energy all day long. <clears throat> this is greed, deception. It's about your blessings. It's because of what, what Most High is about to do for you, the, the blessings that you're about to attract. I heard uh, we get what we give. <clears throat> so you put out a lot of good energy into the universe. And you're about to receive that back in this person. They want some of this. They want a piece of it. Look, may every evil eye go blind. This person could have actually been... Sending you to Eva, you didn't even know that this person could have been speaking bad about you in the past. You didn't even know this person could have been just kind of jealous of you or whatever you have going on. Yeah, I'm um I'm in love with you. That's weird. And this person could have also been in love with you, but jealous of you at the same time. Like, make it make sense. That's not making sense. Tell me more. Clarify this. I'm in love with you energy here that's that's weird yeah double-minded i'm telling you that's that double-minded energy this person is in love with you this con man is in love with you or con woman whoever this person is they are in love with you but they double-minded so it's just like they don't know whether or not they gonna they gonna hate you or love you if they're gonna be jealous of you or they in love with you that's so weird yeah, it says the inability to think rationally or make simple decisions. Double-minded person is restless and confused in his thoughts and actions and his behavior. Such a person is always in conflict with themselves. This person is in conflict with themselves because half of this person is sad and grieving and they miss you. And, you know, I will cross the ocean for you. This person will cross the ocean for you. Okay, then the other half of this person is angry, bitter, jealous, mad, resentful, really want to fight you for real because you done pulled your love back from them or you may be talking to somebody else and you ain't dealing with them no more. This is weird, all right? This is weird. This person needs to speak to us. Uh, they need a therapist, psychiatric evaluation here. Wow. Clarify this rat. Who is this rat? whoa thank you spirits all right so if it's not your person that was in this rat energy here because there was a divine feminine in reverse that i saw earlier and i didn't take her because she didn't come out but there's definitely karmika there's a karmic energy yes yeah, sewer 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 maiden this is like sewer susie so there's a this person got connected to a, a filthy feminine energy here that's what it is Damn it, boy. Yeah. This is nasty. Filthy. Yeah. Rotten, foul, filthy, feminine, decay, obscure. All right. Someone who's stagnant in their life. So they're probably trying to stagnate this person. Um, yeah. This is this this person might got some type of little something, little fungal. Something, okay? A fungus somewhere. I don't know, y'all. Okay, I heard BV. This person could have called BV for from this karma for something. I don't know. Be careful. This is this is given and this is given. Um, uh, infection. This is given nasty infection. All right. Department of Disease Control. That's kind of what that's given here. So what about this? What about this sewer maiden? And this that's in this that's a rat. Tell me about this person here. Just funky, just foul. It don't make no sense. This this is this is her spirit. Him or her. Because I ain't, you know, him or her, this is this person in, in their spirit. Their spirit is nasty. That's what this is. This person got a nasty spirit. You ever met a nasty spirited person? They can't even hide it. They just 
They just spirit is just ugly, just nasty, ugly, filthy spirit. This person is just rotten and foul on the inside for real. Who is this? Somebody say, Jordan said that's the Jezebella. That's Jezebella. Um, might be. Okay, tell me more, Holy Spirit. What that's got to do with the um <sighs> what is this? Um, beware of the charmer's pack. The charmer's pack, but it came out in reverse. What does this have to do with anything with the um sewer with sewer Susie here? What does the charmer's pack? Somebody couldn't make some type of deal. Something didn't work out. You could be an influencer. Or someone tried to influence somebody to do something. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Yup, fail jar spell. There it is. Woo, there it is. Yup, divine masculine. Y'all, this this person could be your counterpart. Um, um this okay. There's a karmic energy here who tried to influence this, be an influence on this person to do something to the collective, to do something to you, to take something from you. Or this karmic was an influence to this person here, but something failed. It says failed jar spell, angelic assistance here. Somebody tried to trap somebody. Maybe this, maybe this sewer maiden energy tried to trap this con man. Tell me more about this. Somebody tried to trap somebody spiritually with their tricks. Somebody tried to trap somebody. This is about a man or a woman with masculine energy. This is about a man who has lost their connection to most high. Yeah. This person could have lost their crown, lost their ranking, lost their wings, or just lost their connection. Just overall, you know, they dis there's a disconnect somewhere. There's a disconnect somewhere. They could have lost this when they hooked up with, with the sewer maiden energy here. Yeah, this whoever this karmic is influenced this person to behave in a certain type of way. Like, they encourage this type of behavior. They could be a con woman themselves. Like, they could be a con artist themselves, collective, you know, birds of a fella. Fox together, okay? Um, so this is giving karmic couple type of energy here. So this person is trying to blur out, numb, drown, avoid. This person is trying to forget you, but they can't forget you, though. They can't forget you because there's a lie that they told you that has to be revealed. Yeah, spirit is making this person go back to the past because of a lie. They're always going to have to go back to the past. They're always being brought mentally and emotionally and physically and spiritually back to you because of a lie that they told you. It's like spirit is making this, mind, this person's mind wander back to you. All right. Didn't I say this person is lost? This is a lost soul. This person is lost on their journey here. This is why they this is why they can't find God or they can't hear God. They cannot hear most high speaking to them. They're lost. They're lost. This person could be drinking more. This person feels left out. They feel left out in the cold today. The problem is that they try to con you. Okay? They try to con the, the, the love of their life. That's kind of what I'm getting. You know, this person is saying that they in love with you, but they are they came out like as a con man or a con woman energy here. The problem is that they conned the wrong person. And by the time they realized who you were, it was too late. That's what happened. They should have never ran this game on you. This person didn't even give it time to see who you were. Yeah, you're like an Indian warrior princess. Yeah, majestic, fierce, noble, spirited, resilient, graceful, wise, commanding, royalty, sovereign. You're royalty. So you come from a royal lineage. You're royalty. Royal bloodline, ancestral, powerful. So literally, you are a, uh, a royal descent. You come from a royal lineage. No matter what your bloodline is, y'all, you guys are royalty. And this person is have burnt bridges. They burnt the bridge with the damn meal ticket, 777. Can't make it up. This person that burnt, burnt the bridge with the jackpot.
You jackpot for this person. Gosh darn it. That's what they done did. They done burnt the bridge with the wrong one. That's what happened, Collective. This person was a con man or a con woman when you met them. But see, Most High really sent you to this person as, a, as an opportunity to have a clean slate. It's a blessing to them. Okay? Like this person could have prayed for somebody like you. Telling God that if, if that if he sent somebody like you, they'll change their life. So God took them up. God was like, bet, bet, bet. Okay. You're going to change your life if I send you. Okay. And most high send a real good blessing for this person just trying to, you know, see if they're going to uphold their end. This person did not uphold their end. They burnt the bridge with the blessing. And God was like, you know, I knew you was going to do that, but I have to test you. I got to test you. You know, you may or you may not prove me wrong. All right. Yeah. So you was jackpot for this person. Yeah. Dang, collective. They burnt the bridge with the with the winner. <laughs> with the blessing. How you do that? Out here acting wild. Out here being wild with the wild card. Yeah. This person was taking risk and impulsive. They did something impulsive. This person made an impulsive choice to go and be with this, this sore maiden energy, this karmic, this, this person with this bad foul spirit, this, this, this foul spirited person. They made an impulsive choice to go and do this collective. Bad choice. Bad choice. Mm. I just keep hearing casino, I guess because of the jackpot card, your person could be a gambler. You could like to gamble. Or this person could be a gambler. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah. So this person is they're 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 one. They want to give you a love offer. They want to try to charm you. They're very much still attracted to you, but the problem is they done already talk crazy with the maniac and the big mouth that they already put their foot in their mouth. This person have already said and did things that was way way left field, out of line, out of bounds. This person will say things behind your back that if you knew, if you knew, mm, yep, not realizing who they were speaking on, who they were speaking against, their blessing. That's what they didn't realize. They were speaking on the wrong person in a negative way. Yeah, I hear being a cheater. They cheated on the wrong person. Yeah, y'all got a miracle. It says good things are coming. Get ready. A miracle is on its way. So you have a miracle that's coming in for you. This person regret the day they ever gave you a fishy offer, y'all. The day they ever gave you a fishy offer. They hate this. They feel like if anybody should have got this fishy offer, it should have been this sewer maiden. But they gave this. They gave this person a legit offer like a fool. Like a fool. Yeah, they gave this person a legit offer. And it's and it's wild because the sewer maiden is sitting in this jealous energy, jealous of you, collective, whoever you are. This person is, is just straight jealous of you. That's crazy. You got the woman, you got the man. What the problem is? Why is you still mad? You is you is childish. That's childish. All right, this is so they hooked up with somebody that's childish. Somebody who want to be your rival could never, could never be the collective's rival. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay. You could be in the spotlight. You could be very beautiful. You could be naturally beautiful, funny, smart, charismatic, ambitious. Just, I don't know. You just the one. You just the one like that people look up to collective. All right. And they done linked up with, 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 with this karmic here. Yeah. This is who they gave you this fishy offer for. This con man, or this con woman, that's who they, they gave you a fishy offer for this person. And they got over here with this person and found out that it was fraudulent. This was a fraud. This sewer maiden is a fraud. This sewer maiden gave them, a, gave them a fishy offer. They didn't even realize that they was being gave a fishy cup. Yep. A worthless offer. Damn. So it's the, this karmic is worthless. That's what it is. They thought this karmic was worth more than what they were. That's who they, they thought that this sewer maiden was the real deal. Like, was the jackpot. They thought that this sewer maiden was the jackpot collective. 
turned out to be worthless. This karmic turned out to be worthless. Worth absolutely nothing. Could not have any lesser value collected. Yep. Dang. Your ancestors came in to protect you as well. They stepped in to protect you. You have a lot of ancestral protection around you. Yeah, your people are warriors. I got my people with me. Tim, my Holy Spirit. Yeah, so they've been shielding you. Battle born energy here. So you were born to battle. You may be like a, um, a spiritual warrior. Because whoever, your people are always on go. Like they ain't no rationalizing. You cannot rationalize with your essence. They is not finna rationalize with you. They don't want to hear the damn thing you got to say. And when it's go time, it's go time for them. And that's just what it is. Wow, they're saying that this sore maiden is a broken energy. This this person needs to heal. Ma'am, sir, sis need to go off to themselves and they need to heal for real. They got to heal that they got to do. They're struggling to recover. Wow, look at that. Struggling to recover. As soon as I was saying struggle to recover, boomerang karma. That They're getting karma. So whatever this karma is that they're getting for just being a jacked up person just in general. All right. Just just being an ain't shit person in life. Some people just ain't shit. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. They're getting karma for this. Also, your person, they're, they're getting karma too. You know, most times, like, as a matter of fact, F it. You get karma, you get karma, you get karma. Wow, we're just in. Most highs really all year long just been in the mood, ain't he? Okay. It says, boomerang karma suggests that the energy we send out, good or bad, quickly returns to us, emphasizing the importance of emitting positive vibes into the universe. And that's just what it is. Okay. <laughs> Y'all better not fight this. Look, 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 look. Karma. That's what this is about. Sewer so Susie. Okay, the con man, karmic couple. You motherfuckers are getting karma. Both of you. <laughs> oh my God. Not laughing at their pain, but I mean, you know, F it, right? It's too late. I've already chuckled. I can't take the chuckle back. It says, relax. They're already getting their karma. Everything you've done to me, already done to you. <laughs> Listen. Y'all gonna y'all gonna hear about this. This person gonna tell you I heard from the horse's mouth. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Poor little Tink Tink. Yo, your ancestors gonna make this person tell you what what happened to them. They gonna make this prideful person tell you what happened to them. Yep. Oh, they'll do it. They'll make you tell it. They'll make you tell it on yourself. All right. Um. What else do I want to pull? Holy Spirit. Let's pull this day. All right. Yeah, look at that. Bad news. Bad news, y'all. This person is going to get some type of bad news. Thug energy. This is jail. This person may be going to jail your person could get some type of sentence they could have like a court case or something coming up that's a part of their karma getting some bad news about something that could land them in the slammers tell me more holy spirit side hustle whoa now whoa now listen so you mean to tell me this person been out here with thug all right side hustle Damn it, the slipped off my sleeve. Yeah, something that slipped off this person's sleeve. Some money, an opportunity with side hustle and bad news. This ain't for everybody. But somebody's person was out here doing some extracurricular activities to get some money. And they're going to, they going to Alcatraz. Okay. They finna lock this person up in off. Okay. Somebody's finna get locked up. Locked up. Yeah, this is their karma. This is their karma. Straight to Alcatraz. In the middle of the island, in the middle of the sea, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. That's what I said. Oh, D. I said the same thing. Tell 
Ten more Holy Spirit. Baby, Alcatraz. I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> Ten more Holy Spirit. Dang. Mirror, mirror, hanging on the wall. You don't have to tell me who's the biggest fool of all. Mirror, mirror, I want you to lie to me and bring my baby back. This person wants you to come back. Bring my baby back. They want you to come back. They want you to come back for another round. Yeah, they heartbroken. Mirror, mirror. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, they heartbroken. They want you to come back for another round. They want their queen or the king to come back. The queen bee. Okay. The one who they should have secured the bag. Well, they should have secured the bag with you. Yeah, they should have. But you, you real focused on yourself. All right. You're not, you're not finna play with no riff raff. Yeah, they finna cut Carm Carmita, but smooth off. Carmita ties is in reverse. Cause they, they, they just feel like I got to get the second chance. I got to. Get back in. Like, maybe I can get another round with the collective. You like, nah, no. <laughs> I mean, thanks, but no thanks. All right, I've learned my lesson here. Yeah, cycles, triggers, and lessons. This was a, some type of a lesson with this person. You feel like you've learned your lesson. What is this, secrets? What is the secret, Lord? Psycho? Jesus, Louise Divine masculine. This person is obsessed with you. This could be your divine masculine. I can't. Well, let me tell you. I ain't going to tell you what to do with your divine masculine. Okay. If this is truly your divine masculine, I ain't going to tell you what to do. You do what you want to do. That's this, you know, this is a divine connection if it is. Okay. But if this is a karmic partner, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. Okay. Stop playing. All right. But if this your divine masculine, listen, I'm going to take my pen out of I don't know. Talk to the Lord. Pray. Pray about it. Okay. Um, but Divine Masculine is real obsessed. It says crazy ex obsessed won't let go. Psycho. Golly. And that's what they're that's what they're keeping secret. This is what the secret is. This person's secretly obsessed with you. Mm-mm. Mm. Tim more Holy Spirit. Give me another message. You guys, make sure you thumbs up the video. That is a beautiful way to energetically donate to our prosperous, abundant, and growing channel. Look at this. Closing this cycle. True colors. Y'all just like, Mystic, you ain't got to tell us. We know. Closing closing out cycles. True colors. You're just like, um, y'all, first of all, don't be sending me all that energy where y'all reading me. Y'all like, no, ma'am, Mystic. You see what we're saying? You know we know. This is literally like y'all saying, you ain't got to tell us to close this cycle out. We know what to do. We see this person's true colors. Don't all y'all yell at me at once. Give another message. Give me one more Holy Spirit. Yeah, y'all done. Cutthroat. <laughs> y'all out here living, living your best life. Y'all got trips and and staycations book, you know, when you book you a nice little uh, hotel or Airbnb and you just stay in, order in, and you turn up by yourself or whatever. Or you got some some group sessions booked. If you, you know, I don't know. Y'all got some stuff booked. Okay. And this person is here feeling like, all right, regretful. They regret everything. This person regret the day they ever met this Jezebel. Y'all, what, uh, was that Friday when he said... She had a uh, she had a burger. I wanted a piece of it, so I stopped. And that was the worst day of my life. Yeah, this person say meeting this Jezebel was the worst day of their life. They <laughs> ah, God, why did you bring this bitch to me? <laughs> they hate this. Okay, for real. Damn, the police. Like, listen, they better chill out over there. Police station. Okay, fighting and stuff. Okay, and me and the collective, we is peeking, peeking through the little, the, we we peeking through the little, the little hole on the on the fence, eating our popcorn, sitting on the roof of the house. 
All right, eating all little popcorn, watching them act crazy, because that's what they're doing. Up here acting crazy with this car, man. You chose this car, man. You had a divine feminine, but you this person didn't want to awaken to receive you. They act like they couldn't see you. You was right there. You was right there, collective. Yeah, and this person struggling with anxiety in it. Yeah, because time is running out. This person's got, they struggling with some anxiety because time is running out. Stressed out. Sweet talk. This person is watching your butt like a hawk. All right. Trying to figure out how they can ask you out to eat or drinks. They need, they, they want to sweet talk you. They want you back. This con man wants you back. Yeah, this could be twin flames. And whoever they're dealing with could know that y'all are twins and this person is not happy. They are not happy that if you if you guys are truly twin flames, the karmic is not happy about this. They was like, how dare you be their twin flame? How dare you be their divine feminine or their divine masculine? You're just like, <laughs> go sit down, go sit down, okay? You just like, baby, go sit at the child's table. Stay out of grown folks' mouth, please, all right? This is beyond you, all right? Chill out. All in grown people business. Give me another message, Holy Spirit. Go to the kids' table over there. <laughs> all right, y'all, let me know. Let me know if y'all could see me. If somebody would call me when I'm recording at 1226 at night. I'm good all right so yeah so just kind of to wrap this up y'all this person is just mentally disturbed they're mentally discombobulated this third party is mentally disturbed um practicing like what love spells and stuff because they're so unhappy to to find out who you really are to this person i also saw that somebody got a reading so maybe it came out in a reading that um who you really are to this person and you know i don't know what they thought they was going to hear let's pull these i don't know what they thought they was going to hear and if they got a reading collective but they was not happy if this third party got a reading they was not happy what they heard they went to a really good reader okay and somebody they laid it on thick <laughs> read them their rights tell me more holy spirit here it is tarot reader Somebody went, somebody got a reading. This, oh my God, collective. Sue or Susie, Sue or Susie went and got a reading. And this, and they're not happy about what they, what the reading said. Somebody is just a star. What do you mean? That's their twin flame. I don't care nothing about that. So that's when they went and probably started trying to, the spell work or whatever, you know. Spirit came through. Look, Most High came through and knocked that ball. Get that shit out of here. Yep. Boomerang karma. And she came right back on them. Bust off. Knocked all the teeth out of their mouth. They got to eat their food through a straw spiritually. Yep. All that. That shit came back on them at one good time. I'm talking about snaggle, waggle. Knocked every tooth out of their mouth. Same more Holy Spirit. Also, you guys, um, I made some changes to, I had a podcast channel and I had stopped posting on it. And I changed it to something else. I'm just, I was really trying to find myself with that platform, you guys. But I, I think I've, I've settled on what I want that platform to be. I'll post the link to it in my comment section along with my shop, the Missy Shop Online.com. I did post some content on there today. Um, and I'll post another one on there tomorrow or whatever. So I'm probably just going to do one video a day on that channel for sure. So I won't be, you know, I'll, won't be laughing over here. All right. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Make sure y'all subscribe. Whoa, now. Okay. Broke, low on funds. So that could be a part of the karma. Going through financial distress. Somebody got $36 to their name. Ten more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Divorce. 
if they married this person, they're going to be divorced. They're finna, they're, they're going to have to divorce this person here. Yeah. Spirit is doing this to this person too. Even if you don't take this person back, a part of this person's karma is a uh, separation from the person that they, that they chose over you. That's their part of their karma too. Spirit is not going to let this person be happy with the person that they, that they played you for. Nope. <laughs> not. That's all that paranormal activity over here, pulling strings and manipulating things. They're, they're separating these people. You won't get to be happy over here with Sue or Susie. You will not, baby. That's why they over here arguing. They arguing, argumentative, never wrong. Yeah, because spirit over here manipulating the energy. They're, they're breaking up. They're breaking these people up. That's a part of this person's karma. Even if you don't take them back. Because, I mean, the choice is yours, baby. Your team is on your side because you didn't do anything wrong. So, you know, but one thing for sure, they're not going to let this person be happy. They're not going to let the con man be happy with the, with the, with the, with the jet, with the Jigaboo. All right. They're not going to let the con, the con man be happy with the Jezebel. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Wow. Sexually transmitted disease. This person could have caught a sexually transmitted disease. And that, there could be some gossip about somebody catching something, y'all. No. Mm -mm -mm. Be careful. Please be careful. Click it or take it. Wrap it up. Thank you. What is this? Wow. Yeah, they realized that this person was materialistic. And it says arrested in jail time, y'all. Didn't, didn't we say earlier that somebody's person is going to, they're going to prison because of some fraudulent stuff that they was doing to make money. Didn't we say that? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to jail because they was doing some, some fraudulent stuff to make money. Probably to support this materialistic karmic over here. They was dealing with somebody that was materialistic. So they had to work harder to make money. Yeah, look at this. Comparison. Somebody trying to come. Somebody was comparing them. So they're over here comparing this karmic to you now. You're being compared to somebody else. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. You're being compared to somebody else, y'all. And stalked, and watched, and followed. So, be you know, be careful. Somebody's definitely watching you. I heard unmarked car. Look at this. This third party want to try to do marriage counseling if they marry this person here. They want to do whatever they can to hold on to this person. Give me one more. Woo, clowns clowns they, they feel like a clown collective or they're getting clowned out by their friends for choosing this third party somebody's friends and family is clowning them for choosing the wrong person for real they just like wow so that's what you that's what you walked away from so this wow you know that's crazy <laughs> tell me more holy spirit but you know we all make mistakes yeah uh selfish moody childish and petty yeah look at this so they, they're, they're dealing with somebody who cannot be pleased. Whoever this karmic is, they can't please this person. There is no pleasing this person here at all. Mm. All right. Um, let's pull from my Truth Oracle deck. And let's get some final. Mm, my ear ringing. Final messages. Needing you to trust me. Sexual punishment. You've been acting up. Damn, my ear ringing. This person. This person. Um, They want to try to like. This person like rough. S-E-X. Or whatever. They, they feel like they can kind of like dominate. Or take back control over the situation. If they punish you in the bedroom. Um, coming back for you is real so this person is coming back for you they're they've been hiding the fact that they're broken hearted they feel like no one can have you but them and they are trying to manifest a physical union with you this person is also tired of pretending that they don't want you guys collective yeah possessive control and manipulative greedy sneaky but see the thing about it is you don't you think this person is very sneaky collective but they they definitely feel like a sense of ownership they're very possessive over you that's crazy that this person played the wrong person. Like out of everybody in your whole life that you ran that, that scheme on, that scam on, you ran it on your own on your person person. This ain't sitting well with this person.
That bisexual energy keeps popping up too, y'all. For somebody. Possessive, controlling, manipulative, greedy, sneaky is here again. Um, and it says, we're repeating a lifetime together, past life karma, deja vu. So, yeah, y'all doing this again. Yo, y'all going to keep doing this until, until this person get this right. And some of y'all is like, I don't want to keep doing this with this person. I'm not the one that's messing up. But see, in every lifetime, this person always be hiding other lovers besides you. This person be cheating. Every lifetime, this person be out here committing adultery. Adultery, okay? They be out here cheating. Every lifetime. Or they keep going back to somebody from their past. Oh, thanks for the 1111. Oh, I appreciate it. You're so sweet. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I lack self-love. That's why I keep hurting you. Yeah, this person keeps hurting you. They keep hurting you because this person has never learned to love themselves. Give me one more Holy Spirit. I'm not looking for your replacement. Yeah, because you can't find it. This person is, has stopped looking for your replacement. Because they cannot, they cannot find it. They can't find you nowhere. They cannot replace you, collective. Falling in love again is scary. And receive bad karma. So this person got some type of bad karma, y'all. This may be you that's afraid to fall back in love back in love with this person again you just like no this is way too scary <laughs> you're afraid that this person's not going to come in with a sincere offer but see the, this person is sorry for what they did in the past they're sorry that they gave you a fake offer in the past they definitely gave you a fake offer in the past and they this person regret this to this very day they regret this to the very day collective and probably because they're getting all this bog this doggone bad karma they desperately want you to hold their spot did not say they friends is like jousting on them yeah, this, this person's friends is joking on them. My friends gonna judge me. Their friends are judging the crap out of them because they chose the wrong person. They, they, their friends be roasting them, talking about them. Dang. Whether they're doing this in this person's face or behind their back, their friends is like, man, especially if they know you or they know of you, their friends be watching you too. Cause they, their friends is comparing you to whoever this new person is. Like, dang. My, my girl and my boy tripping. They definitely is. They they chose the wrong person. They I don't know what they saw in the, in this other person. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, um, you guys are just kind of like requiring a lot of personal space right now. Both you guys are lacking the faith right now. Both you guys mutually, it, you know, just kind of lacking faith. Like things are going to work out. Tell me more. Wishing on a star, but you both are manifesting. This person for sure could be dealing with an Aquarius with wishing on a star. You could be a star. Energy here. You could get a lot of attention, but this person view you as a star. Regardless, they view you as a star. You're a star in their eyes. Now, finally, since who you are has been illuminated to them, um, the fact that they actually call in the wrong person, this person is like, I'll chase you if I have to. This person is going to chase you. <laughs> This is not something that this person normally does. They finna lace their, their, their Nikes up though. Tell me more. They gonna have to chase you. They gonna have to. This person may be also struggling financially as well, especially if they're having to divorce somebody. If they're having to divorce somebody, they, 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 they gonna come out, you know, struggling a little bit. But you know, um, keeping tabs on you, GPS. So this person, they, they try to keep up with your every little move collective. Yo, every little move, this person try to keep up with you. So, this person, wow, this person is ready to jump over hurdles to get to you guys collective. They're going to be trying to do whatever they got to do, just so you know. Whatever they got to do. <sighs> this jail energy is here again. This could also be this person trying to um, astro project to you, astro travel to you. Yeah, they could be trying to astro travel to you guys, but they're blocked. This person is trying to travel to you in the dreams, in the dream state, but spirit got them blocked from coming to you spiritually. Yeah. With ceremony, mystery, and magic, and sweet dreams, and confinement, this person is blocked from astral traveling to you. Ten more Holy Spirit. Because they're greedy. They're blocking this person because they're greedy? Why, is, why are they blocking this person from astral traveling to the collective Holy Spirit? Or maybe 
they can only astro travel to you because spirit has them confined. They can't physically come to you right now. Mm. Temptation. Bride. Persuasion. Because this person is going to try to persuade you. They don't want this person trying to persuade you into something. Clarify this persuasion. What is this persuasion energy here? Memory. This person will try to have you in your feelings. That's why they won't physically let this person around you because this person is going to try to bribe you. They're going to try to tempt you. They're going to they're gonna bring up y'all. They're going to try to have you in your feelings with memory energy here. Yeah. Damn. Because this person is tired of being left out on the cold by you. It's, the, it's your energy. They, they're tired of being left out of your energy. And this person is, look at this. This person is getting ready to chase you down. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah. I'm going to say this. This person may need some funds financially. So be careful of this person trying to um, get you, persuade you to give them money or something like that. And I kind of feel this way. Because I do feel like this person is like, they are going through it. They may actually need it, but that ain't really your place. This person is getting their karma. All right. With bribe and homelessness, this person may try to like say things. So you will feel bad for them and you will give them money or something. Yeah. So be careful with that. That's for, that's not for everybody. Cause they are, they, they're going to lose a lot, but that's a part of it. That's a part of you know, the, the humbling experience for this person here. Conflict and loneliness. Conflict is in reverse. Loneliness is in reverse. Yeah, this person is willing to come out of conflict with you. They're ready to call truth because they're tired of being lonely. They now view you as the gift. They know you're the gift. They're ready to receive their gift. This person is also going through withdrawals as well. They're going through withdrawals and they're also withdrawing from other situations. Yeah, any type of collaborations, this person knows they're going to have to cut these collaborations off. Yeah, they're not going to be able to juggle you. And also, you ain't going to get them no assistance. Look at that A. Yeah, you're not going to assist this person with anything. You're not. They're going to have to get they're going to have to get it get it how they live. They are. This person is they're struggling. They're with suffering from withdrawals from you, your energy. They feel rejected by you right now cuz you ain't really paying this person no mind. All right? What is this curse energy here? Somebody could have been trying to kind of curse you guys. Could be this. I just saw this angry energy here. So there's a there is a feminine energy that's angry. <sighs> Real estate could be somebody that they was living with. Daydream, illusion, good news. Someone could be trying to do some type of illusion magic or something. Could be this other person here. To keep this person mentally confused and stuck. So they maybe miss out on um, having a new beginning or this luck. You like this person's good luck charm. Somebody want them to miss out on you. Friendship, teamwork, network, connection. Yeah, somebody don't want this person to reconnect with you. Somebody's fearful that this person is going to come back to you. This treasure. You're like this person's treasure. Are they you there? This person's gonna come back to you guys, and y'all gonna have abundance together. Somebody don't want this person to see your value. That's what this is about. Somebody is frightening. They're fright. They are frightened. They're afraid that uh, this person's gonna see your value collective. Yeah, but you see your value. You see your value. Self love and indulgence. This is you. This is you loving on yourself, pampering yourself. You guys. Yeah. This person is also afraid that now that you see your value, that you're not going to entertain them again. You're not going to entertain them anymore because you do see your value. See, in the past, when you didn't know your value and you didn't know your worth, you was willing to let this person back in. You was willing to give this person as many chances as possible. But now you love yourself. Now you love yourself. That's just what it is. Give me another message, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yep, this person's stressed because they missed their blessing. Yep, this person let their blessing go. They let their blessing go. They are stressed out because they missed out on a real big blessing from the universe. This person now see that you were the blessing the whole time. 
Yep. I bet they want to hear you out now. They want to hear you out now. Maintenance. They want to work on this now. They want to try to save the relationship now. All right. Hmm. All right. Let me get um. Uh, let me get one more, and I'm gonna wrap this reading up. If you guys have not subscribed, if you're new here, make sure that you are doing so. Give me a final um, word for the Divine Collective. Also, make sure you guys are saving. You are more saving than spending. Somebody need to hear that. Make sure you're saving your money right now. Final message. Mm. And that's the truth. That's Ace of Swords energy here. So make sure you guys are saving right now. Try not to be doing too much splurging. All right. The truth is also the Ace of Swords is also about speaking some type of truth, divine truth. This is like Michael Sword coming in, um, cutting through the BS. Yeah. Feast of Plenty choices and their consequences. See, this person is this person is having to suffer their the consequences. The two of swords, this person had a choice. They made the wrong choice. They chose the wrong path. Now they're they now they're suffering. They're suffering. Tell me more. Choices and their consequences. They're having to face their consequences. Clarity and organization. Stars in the sky. Limitless possibility. You're a star seed. Oh, they know who you are now. Yeah, you guys are protecting your future right now. You're being led to protect your future. Some of you guys could be uh, reorganizing your house with tidy house, or this could just overall your energy. You're cleaning your energy right now. Tell me more. You're gaining some type of clarity. Someone needs to declutter their home. And if you declutter your home, you're going to start gaining like more clarity. You're going to be able to think straight. All right. Throw some, somebody needs to throw a lot of stuff away. Somebody been holding on to a lot of stuff because you've been depressed and you didn't even know that you was depressed. And by the time you looked up, your house was just a little chaotic. And it's okay. We all go through that. I listen, that have happened to me more times than I like to admit. All right. But once you once you realize, like, um, oh, this is getting out of hand, just throw, just bag everything up and toss it. Just toss it. You know, Clean up real good. Mop your floors with a little pine salt and ammonia. Play you some high vibrational music and sage your house with the doors open, windows open. And even if it takes you a little while, a room a day. A room a day keeps the blues away, right? Do a room a day and just deep clean a room a day. Listen, depression is, is crazy and it'll sneak up on you. You don't even realize that you like kind of battling with depression a little bit by the time you realize it your surroundings is just chaotic it just kind of happens like that sometimes dude. mystic understands okay <laughs> i understand if i was there with you baby i roll my sleeves up and we'll play some music and we'll i'll help you one room at a time so tell me more give me one more holy spirit give me one more thank you oh what is this Empty well, see, time to replenish. Yeah, you just, somebody been feeling real empty lately. And it's time that you have to pour into yourself. You have to replenish yourself. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Somebody just been feeling so empty. You gave so much to other people. You give so much to other people. Yeah. My spirit is saying that in order to repair yourself, you have to forgive. It says repairing the veil, forgiveness. You're going to have to forgive. Once you forgive, these takers, because that's what this is. In order for the empty well energy to be here, you are surrounded by takers. Like some people, all they know is take. They're not givers, right? But the only way that us as givers learn lessons about boundaries is we have to cross paths with takers. You have to cross. Takers teaches you boundaries. Okay. That's what, that's their job. Their job is to teach you how to say Okay, scram. No. All right, that's just what it is. Practice in the mirror. Ain't no reason why. You don't, you don't have to have a reason why. It's just hell no. That's just it. All right? <laughs> yeah. And pour this energy back into yourself. It's time to fill your own cup up, babe. It's time for you to be selfish. Somebody, somebody needs, somebody is so doggone selfless. It's like the universe is actually giving you a pass to be selfish. Imagine that. 
Whoever, whoever this is for, you are so giving. You are so generous. Like you literally, you know how some people say, I give the shirt off my back. You would actually give the shirt off your back and be walking around butt naked so that somebody else could have something to put on. You wouldn't care. You'd be like, okay, whatever. It's just a body. So that, you know what I'm saying? Like we all got a body. Everybody got titties and ass, whatever. But just to see somebody else not be out in the cold shivering, you would do that. So it's kind of giving like the universe is like, no, babe, you get a pass to be selfish. You get a pass. It's okay. God is not going to ding you for this because you've given literally everything, including the shirt off your back. You know, look, look at this watchers transpersonal. Yeah. The watchers have seen everything. These divine watchers have watched you. <sighs> Proud of you, but you're gonna have to pour into yourself. It's time, it's time. All right, it says dust devil moving out of stagnation. And once you do, oh my god, here it is. Me talks. You guys need a me talks. Yeah, it says repairing the body, mind, and spirit. This is gonna help you get out of this stagnant energy. You're gonna have to pour into yourself, baby. You need some me talks time. This is, listen, whoever this is for, do this. Don't even, don't even wait. Don't even delay. Start right now. All right? Yeah. You need time for you. Forget everybody else. <laughs> Give me one more. Ah, my hand. Dirty mother. This is going to move you out of, so you've been stagnant because you, you, you give all your, you give too much to other people. That's why you've been stagnant. Other people will slow you down, won't it? Other people's problems, won't they slow you down? Other people will delay you. A lot of times we be delayed, not even because of us, we be delayed because of other people's problems. Because we trying to help somebody else. Ungrateful people. Don't it? Every time I've ever been delayed, it's because of something I did for somebody else. They came back and bit me. Every time, I'm not lying. I can, every time I've ever experienced some type of setback or delay, it was because I stuck my neck out on the line to help somebody else. Yup. And you know something? I don't regret it. If I was called to do that for them, they needed it. And I needed the lesson from how they, how they received it. Or I need, I needed the lesson from it and they needed the blessing. Right? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Now, would I do it again? No. Hell no. To the no, no, no. I would not do it again. But I don't regret it. I just wouldn't do it again. <laughs> Hell to the no. <laughs> Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Whoa, now, pull over that, too fat, Ooh, pull over that, too fat. Listen, I ain't lying. You guys getting a blessing. It's will of fortune, luck and right timing. You guys are getting a blessing collective. Congratulations. You deserve it. You know why? Because of your heart. It says heart home, compassion, because you have a compassionate heart. This is why the wheel is turning in your favor. Everything that's coming for you, you deserve it. If you chose, if you chose not to hand out another nothing else to somebody else, to anybody else collective, you, you would be okay. God would not look at you no type of way because you have given so freaking much. Like this is literally your season to be selfish. God really wants you to save. Oh my God. That's why the savings came out. They said you need to save. So whatever this blessing is, they don't want you handing your stuff out. They want you to save your money this time. When this financial windfall come in for you guys, you deserve it. Don't give it away unless you just absolutely know for a freaking fact that divine is telling you to bless this person. But other than that, they want you to sit, hold on to it, invest. They want you to hold on to your stuff and invest into yourself for once collective. You got this will of fortune energy here because of your heart. 313, because of your heart. Yup, and mm -mm -mm. God always know who to crown, don't he? Let me tell you. If, 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 if you're selfish, 
If you know you a selfish person and you only think of yourself, this ain't yours. This this ain't yours. This crown ain't yours. Okay. This this crown, it says crown games, right? Use the power. This crown, most high crown um the ones who he could trust. You're a chosen one. This is 144K. You are truly a chosen one. All right? That's why God crowned you. Because you know how to use your power. It says right use of power. You are not out here misusing your power. Period. And that for that, you guys are being blessed beyond your wildest dreams. Will of Fortune energy here. Crown games. I don't know why people be trying to play crown games with the chosen one, baby. You're going to lose every time. You, because the, listen, chosen ones will blow you for your hop every time. All right? <laughs> Thank you. Gathering around the power of community. And you, you guys are about to receive a lot of help. Like your real spiritual community is coming in, collective. Your soul family is coming in. So if you've been waiting and praying for God to send you help, help is coming. Help is on the way. All right, that's so beautiful. You guys wear your crown so well. Mm. I heard heavy is the head that wear the crown. That's true. That's true. Real chosen ones, whole lives have just been shitty. All right. If your whole life from the time that you can remember up until probably right now, it has just been awful. It has been hard. It seemed like something has been fighting you every step of the freaking way. If you take one step forward, you're getting knocked 10, ten steps backwards. It seems like everybody named Mammy is out to get you for no reason. You're probably a chosen one. You're probably chosen. Only, only chosen ones receive this type of hate for no reason. You can always, I'm telling you, I always said in a crowd of people, you can always spot the chosen one by the trail of hate that leads to them. You can always tell who 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 is the one that God it that's his. Cause everybody's gonna be against that person for no reason. They're gonna be ridiculed, gossiped about, bullied, talked about. I'm talking about for no freaking reason. Follow the trail of hate, and it'll always lead you to the chosen one. Lead you to one every time. All right. And see, this is you. This is why heavy, heavy is the head that wear the crown. It is a hard journey for those that God crowned. For real. All right. Hmm. Anyway, I digress. I love you guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel, if you have not thumbs up the video, it is 1,000 views in here. Make sure that you guys show some love. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe. It's free. It's free, you guys. I love you guys to life. Peace.